like over almost 20-ish years. I hate that number. Um, <laughs> years of teaching. But I was a classroom teacher, and I was going to do small group instruction. And so I thought I had it down. I knew my students. I knew what their interests were. I pulled books that were going to be very rich and engaging. But then I likened my experience to um, this movie, Funny Farm, with Chevy Chase. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. And you remember when he got the room and he, they moved to the country because he was going to write and the awesome music was playing. He was in his little typing room and the window was up. He was whistling to everything felt right. And then he opened the typewriter and went to the. And that's how it felt like as a teacher when we were reading and we're, the children are starting to read a story and then they get to a word that they don't know and the bottom falls out, right? So I don't know what to tell you. Give it a good running start. Skip over, come back. You know, what is the picture telling you? Like all of these things other than really looking at the word and that experience to me just sort of, I was frozen, right? But I didn't really have the answers in terms of, I didn't know what I didn't know <clears throat> years ago, right? So as my journey through my um, work world has transformed, I became an instructional coach and still this elusive, what do I do? when children are struggling. And I knew the things that I'm saying doesn't really quite make sense, but I don't know what I don't know. Now at the same time, I became a parent and my son was entering elementary school and he had all of these struggles um, with reading. But as I was told, you know, he's just a boy. Um, just give it time and he'll learn to do this when he's ready. And I'm like, okay, because I kind of subscribed to the same thinking. That's what we were told, and that's what we went through. Mm -hmm. And I thought, yeah, something's not jiving. <clears throat> um, and then I started a doctoral program, and then it gave me access to research. And just the knowledge building. And, and my role as an instructional coach working at a district level where we're seeing the same problem looking at data across five buildings. The struggle mirrors mm -hmm. the struggle my son is having and why. Mm -hmm. And it goes back to instruction and knowing what you don't know. And I go back to that experience that I had as a teacher at the table. And we're doing the best with what we thought we had at the time, but we just don't know anymore, right? So my whole journey through all of this was around building my own knowledge, but I'm on my silo journey. But I'm trying to figure this out as a practitioner I'm trying to figure this out as a parent, and there is no one that I can even connect to and connect with. So the heavens opened up for me when I had the chance to go to a curriculum overview because they brought the science of reading, which was what I was re reading about on my own personal journey, and the forces aligned, and then it aligned me with people that are now in my life. Um, and the founding members of the Reading League, when we all came together, our stories are so similar. We're in our own silos, and we're doing this important work, but we don't know that there are others out there that are doing this important work or are in search of these answers as well. And my role as a parent is now one to kind of work as an advocate with other families and the teachers, because I had to get over that hump as I'm trying to support my son and figure out, because he's dyslexic, um, how do I help him, but how do I infuse this knowledge within a school system that may not yet be ready to receive it or think they have to receive it? And that's a big struggle for me. But I see that as a driver for me to work with other, not just the, te not just the parents, but it's the teachers as well. Um, because you know what you only know. And if you believe that you're doing the best you possibly can, you don't want to discredit that. But there are other ways. And it's the knowledge building piece. And that's where the Reading League is really coming into play um, with me personally. Right, so I can network with other like minds of diverse exper shared experiences, but we have different approaches to arriving at the same um, strain. Mm -hmm. um, but also networking with others within the system, psychologists, administrators, parents, we all come to the table wanting to know more about how to help children learn to read, and then we leave and fulfilling that in different parts of our roles. And I feel like that's the void we're filling as the Reading League has come to be.